food consumption is not just a rational process in which people make rational decisions, but it's a process of routines and even of emotions, and we need to acknowledge that. And policy thus far has not acknowledged these processes sufficiently. The European Commission has been pushing this farm-to-fork strategy with a big focus on production. But of course, if consumers do not buy the more sustainable and healthier food products, then it's really hard to make progress on that strategy. Poor quality diets associate with uh, obesity, but also a number of cardiovascular disease and other non-communicable diseases that are very important to uh, take care of. Also, low quality diets will have an increased uh, ecological footprint associated with our food system. Uh, the evidence has shown that interventions in these food environments work, yeah, but most of these interventions have been uh, uh, isolated interventions. And what we really argue is that policy should combine uh, interventions into policy mixes uh, to get synergetic effects of these interventions. That involves some taxes and uh, a change in subsidies, etc. Some change will not happen in a voluntary basis or through simply market-based mechanism and therefore there's a role for the Commission to mandate food product reformulation, to mandate some restriction on advertisements and maybe also to mandate some restriction on imports of food that are highly unsustainable at the place of production. The placement in retail stores of the, of the uh, healthy and sustainable products in a way that's highly visible for the consumers will induce these consumers to buy more of these products. Finally, also some mandates on the product reformulation in order to decrease their content in the unhealthy products, you know, anything high in salt, sugar and saturated fat. And that means that our interventions are making the food environment, as we call that context, uh, uh, in such a way that uh, consumers can make the easy and uh, uh, convenient and cheapest choice for sustainable and healthy choice is what policies should aim for. But they should do it in a system-proof way, which means that uh, policies should take into effect all kinds of counter-acting uh, uh, effects uh, that food system actors may play.